Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Friday the 1st of October. The local media headlines today. Now if you want to know what's going on with Covid in Cornwall you could always try asking a local councillor. Just make sure it's a local councillor from Devon rather than anyone who hangs out at County Hall. The Devon Local Outbreak Engagement Board is warning of a bumpy autumn and winter, says the Covid data is pretty scary and even has the temerity to discuss Cornwall's Boardmasters Festival all under the fierce gaze of public scrutiny. In Cornwall such debates are held in secret. Now this is a pity for all sorts of reasons, not least because Cornwall's Covid numbers are again going up quite rapidly and are significantly higher than they are in Devon. Cornwall's Liberal Democrats are first out of the blocks with a campaign about the leisure centre closures, but it's probably best not to ask them who was responsible for the outsourcing contract in the first place. And this time next week you could be listening to Cornwall's newest radio station, which is due to launch on Thursday. The St Ives Times and Echo is out today and as local newspapers go it probably has more experience than most reporting stories about developers who build things without planning permission. Local MP Derek Thomas makes the lead story calling for a crackdown and stricter enforcement from County Hall. The Falmouth Packet reported a successful property auction for Cornwall Council selling the Stenac Clubhouse in St Ives. Pirate FM covered a court case brought by Trading Standards after a rogue trader conned people out of thousands of pounds. The BBC reported the resumption of a talking newspaper service and finally Cornwall Live had more hour by hour weather. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again on Monday. Until then, have a great weekend. Bye bye.